Hey amigas, welcome back to my channel. Ah, I know it has been a cool as minute since I've uploaded a video, but you guys already know que ando en chinga. I'm always on the go. And this whole month, this whole summer has been so busy for me. So I haven't really had a chance to upload anything but finally the summer is coming to an end so it is that time that i come back to my regular schedule in today's video i am going to be doing a full face of new products a lot that have recently launched that i have not tried on they've just been sitting on my vanity and i've just been waiting for the moment to try them out for you guys because you already know i like to do first impressions okay so i'm going to be reviewing everything that's literally on my face i just finish the makeup look and this is the outcome of course there's gonna be a tutorial included on the eyeshadow i dude it just feels so good to be back in my studio and back on my grind okay y'all ready amigas let's do this Okay, amiga, so cuéntenme, how was your summer? Because I had a long one. If you guys know, every single summer, it's kind of hard for me to be on my YouTube channel consistently because I do have three kids at home and there's just no way that I can get around to just sitting down and filming for you guys. Pero the kids are back in school and I just got done throwing my daughter her fifth birthday party. Girl, it was so cute. We did a Barbie theme. It was actually this past weekend. And now that I have everything out of the way, I was like, girl, let's sit down and record. Let's jump right into it because we have a lot of products. They've literally been sitting on my vanity for weeks, okay? So there's a lot of stuff that they sent me from PR that I have not had a chance to use. As you can see, nothing on nada makeup on. I have nothing on my face. And that is because I want to start off with this right here. It's from Fenty Beauty. It's called Blemish Defeater. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, but I do have a couple breakouts that I need to hinder. And supuestamente, this is going to help with it, and you can put it on before makeup. So I was like, girl, let's try this out. They actually just sent this one to me. I believe it was last week. So here's the little packaging. Nice little tube. I love the color tone to it. It's not white. It's like off-white. It is from Fenty Skin. I think I said Fenty Beauty earlier, but same chingadera same brand so oh look at the applicator dude so when you like squeeze it out let me see if i can squeeze it out oh it's clear okay so it has like a little hole in the front and in the back where it comes off so i don't want to put it directly on my skin because i don't want to contaminate it but i am going to put like a little drop of the product right there as you can see it's very like silicone -y, and it's clear so let's go in and Tap that in to the blemishes. Y a ver qué pasa. I'm reading the box and it says that you can apply it on clean and dry skin in the morning and in the night. It says let it dry completely before applying any kind of moisturizer or makeup. Y saben que amigas, I don't really break out. These are all like hormonal right before I start. And they're so annoying, pero... It is what it is. Somos mujeres. Oh, and let me show you. I also got this from Fenty Skin. It's um, It comes with a face scrub and a body scrub. So I already used the face scrub right before this video. To my restroom. I'm too lazy to get up and show you guys. Pero it looks the same way. It actually worked really well. I loved it. It had like little pebbles in it or like the little scrubby things. And it exfoliated my skin so nicely. And I love how like sespumó. And the only complaint that I gotta say about it is that the scent is a little bit too strong for me. I've mentioned to you guys that I don't like any kind of skincare that is like really strong smelling. So it doesn't smell bad. It actually smells nice. Pero just a little too heavy on the scent for me. Up next, I am gonna be trying out this from Milk Makeup. Now, I know this has been around. Everybody has used it, reviewed it, and loved it. But guess what, amigas? I have never tried out the milk hydro grip primer that's what it's called right hydro yeah hydro grip primer i just don't want to mix it up because i always get it mixed up with the elf one but this one specifically i've never tried the one from elf is supposed to be like a dupe and i love that thing so i guess we're gonna find out today the packaging is super cute by the way i love when things come i see in like little acrylic containers and the little thing that i put for the blemishes is already dried down so we're gonna go in with the hydro grip primer okay it doesn't smell like anything 
Ooh, she's sticky. And this is how you test it, Ida. See the recoil on my cheek? She bouncy, she's sticky, and she's ready for foundation. By the way, I don't have a recent launch on foundation, so I'm just gonna go in with my regular foundation and I'll be right back so we can get on with the next product. Okay, there we go. And just for reference, I did end up going with the Beauty Creations Flawless Day Foundation and I mixed it in with the KVD Good Apple Serum Foundation. These together, oh girl, long lasting flawless finish. This is what she look like. Okay, let's get on to concealer. So I do have a brand new launch. This one is from Koki Cosmetics. They sent me a few shades. This is called the Double Time Full Cover Concealer. It's supposed to be smoothing and long lasting. I'm gonna use the shade Medium Golden and hopefully Latinemos to my shade. I'm gonna put a few dabs. Okay, that's good. It's a little light. But I think we can make it work. That is a lot of product in one application. She feels thick too. So let's go in and blend this out with a brush. Let's see how all these products work together. I'm gonna bring it up to my eyelid. Oh, and I'm loving this formula. It's actually very full coverage, but it does feel very much lightweight. It blended out effortlessly. Mira smooth I, and i forgot to tell you guys about the primer so i did feel the foundation and the concealer right now that i'm blending it in everything's gripping on i really do enjoy that primer up next we have some cream products from fenty beauty ahora esta si si es fenty so i do have a cream is it a bronzer or a contour let me check I just want to make sure. Okay, it's a bronzer. And then they did send over some cream blushes. They look so pretty in the back. You can see the shade that I'm going to be getting into. So these, I'm going to put them away real quick. Because first, we're going to play with the bronzer. Pero miren no más. This packaging is beautiful. When you open her up, así se ve the bronzer. And it does have a nice mirror up on top. So this shade that I received is called 04 Honey Glaze. Oh, how cute, it's called Cheeks Out Bronzer. I'm gonna take my Laura Lee Los Angeles L31 brush. This is my favorite one for bronzing and contouring. And I'm just gonna go right in. Cause I, I definitely wanna see how this is gonna work. Oh, that's pretty. Y a ver, a ver, my pinches greñas, dude. They're always getting in the way. And I'm going with the light hand. I don't know how pigmented this is gonna be. But on the little bit that I did get was enough. A ver, let me go a little bit more heavy. Let's see what happens. Let's put it right here. A little, little something, something, you know? Ooh, I like that. It's not like super heavily pigmented. And I am here for that. Okay, for sure, my Rare Beauty bronzer has competition because lately I've been using the Rare Stick um, bronzer. Rare Beauty bronzing stick. Okay, there we go. And it's been my go-to. I've been using it nonstop and I haven't found anything that compares to it. But it is definitely something that I'm going to be gravitating for on a daily basis. Okay, that was bomb. Let's go on with the cream blushes. I'm so excited to try these, I love blushes. This is what they look like. They're so tiny and cute. And on the flip side, you do get the shades like I was showing you guys earlier. Let me go one by one and show you guys. Porque, I don't even know what I'm gonna use. They all look good. Here we have the shade Riri, which is a nice little berry tone. And her lipstick shade is actually the one that's named Riri matches this perfectly y luego we got raisin standards pinky promise this one's called big melons and you can see why because it is like a little melon tone and last but not least we have peach face and it is because it is a peach colored blush loki i want to try big melons porque i'm always using pink ones and I have, my first thought was like okay i'm gonna go in with pinky promise but let's switch it up. Let's go in with the Big Melons shade. And I'm gonna go in little by little, because it is bright, very vivid. And I'm wondering, yeah, she's pigmented, girl. Y miren nomás, amigas. She's stunning. You really don't need a lot of product 
a little bit does go a long way and I'm able to like drag it all the way up where I need to. And now that we have all the cream products on, we're able to set it. And dude, I am so excited for this product. I have held myself back from trying it out because I really want to do first impressions. But this is the new Lunar Beauty setting powders. They did send me four shades and they vary from, hold on, let me find the, right there. We have a translucent light. We have a translucent medium a translucent deep and a translucent pink. I have never tried out a pink setting powder and I know they've been trendy. So I definitely want to try this one out. I think first what I'm gonna do is set everything with a medium tone powder. And I think I'm gonna do the pink right underneath my eyes because girl, I wanna see what all the fuss is about. I took them out of the packaging and this is the medium one right here. And this is the translucent light. I don't have a tan right now, so I don't know how deep this is going to be on me but i'm gonna try both of these out and see which one's in my best bet but just look at this packaging it says lunar beauty and it does have a black lid and it does have like a little design right here you can feel it it is like moon like texture it's so cute and when you open it up it does include a little puff which i love it's super tiny and it does fit on your fingers it's like rounded and it does have a little point to it when you remove the puff You'll see the LB right there it stands for Lunar Beauty. And what's cute is that it does have a little separator. So you keep your puff up here. And then right here is where the product actually comes out of. So I'm going to tap on a little bit on the cap. Just like that. Oh, it's perfect. I was a little worried. I was like, how much product is going to come out? I thought it was going to be like a tiny little bit. But no, that is like literally the perfect amount. Going with a powder brush first. Let's set all of this first. It's not oxidizing, which is a really, really good sign. And the medium tone is definitely sitting right on my skin tone. Also, the powder is very fine. My complexion looks really freaking good. Like, it doesn't look cakey whatsoever. And you can't really tell that I have powder. You know when you put on powder after foundation? You just, like, it really, like, you can tell you're wearing powder. Not with this girl not with this one you know what i think i'm gonna try out all three just because i kind of want to see what they're working with so i'm gonna get the light translucent powder and this time i'm actually gonna use the little puff that it came with so let's go and like tap right into it and let me just show you guys how fine this powder is let's go right in and start placing it right underneath my eyes basically those areas that i want to keep nice and bright I also place like a lot of setting powder right here on my smile lines because girl, they are very deep. And this actually helps a lot. Para que no se miren too much. Y a ver, a ver, let's go ahead and remove this setting powder. Oh, I didn't leave a cast. That's one thing that I get scared of with like translucent powders that a lot of times it does leave like a little cast. Pero esta no. This one did a great job. I do see the difference between the medium one and the light translucent. Like this area right here is definitely like brighter. Now here comes the fun part. Let's add a little bit of pink powder. I'm a little nervous. And let's place just a little bit right here. Oh, and I forgot to bake my nose. So let's go ahead and do that with this powder. And pink powder is on. We're going to let that bake for about a minute or two and then we'll just sit off. We're ready to go. Let's dust this off. Ready? Ready? Where do you want to look? Hold on. Let me just dust it off first and then I'll open my eyes. One, two, three. Oh, that looks good. My under eye, dude, hella blurred and brightened. Maybe it had to do with the, like the three layers of translucent powder that I put, but damn. Look at that, she looks so good. Flawless, no roaches or nothing. But dude, you can't lie, it looks freaking good. Damn girl, she really did that. Okay, I'm done with my complexion, so I'm gonna pop on some brows real quick and I'll be right back because we do have this right here. And I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for me to review this, so let me do my brows real quick hold on Alrighty, amigas i am back and the brows are on 
Now, it is time we get to this. So if you guys don't know, this is the collaboration between Beauty Creations and Louis Castro. I did get the PR box. This is what she looks like. It is massive, girl. Massive. When you open her up, is all the goodies inside it is absolutely stunning and it does have a mirror up on top it's kind of hard to like show you guys everything and i'm not going to use exactly everything on here because we're not doing like a full-on review on the whole thing but we are going to use the best part which i think i'm going to use the eyeshadow palette here we have the baddest perra shadow palette and if you guys could just feel the texture on this it's like a velvet material how you see the flames right there those are all covered in a velvet material this is just like standard paper you know you push it out if i can't hold it you know you slide it out and open her up and bam girl you get that beautiful color story there's actually a lot of shades on here and i don't know if you guys can see the little shadows but they're filled with details like some of these have a heart they have like a little um paw print I believe because of his dog and then there's flames super freaking cute and the shade names he went very personal so he did add a lot of things that he does say and a lot of names that are part of his family so there's ruby bumpy honey glam moment get the don't ever peaches mommy i'm just going in like random pretty not smart there's berra bbl Baddest, you get the point. Oh, and yeah, this is called Chile, and it does have like a little Chile um, emoji, I want to say, on the shadow. It's so freaking cute. And honestly, I was going to do like a neutral look, but I think I kind of have to use the purples. Okay, okay, let's jump right into an eyeshadow look. As a transition shade, I'm going to use the shade BBL. Like a nice lilac color. Ooh, pigment, girl. Let's go right in. I'm gonna go little by little because I don't want something too pigmented as a transitional shade. And I have not played with vibrant colors in such a long time. So this is gonna be a really fun look. Y luego, let's take the shade Baddest, which is a deep purple shade. Go ahead and place that right in there. We're gonna use it in the crease. By the way, I already know and love the formula on Beauty Creations eyeshadows. So that's why I'm not like super blown away because I already expected pigment. I expected blendability. I expected all of this. I'm going to add a little bit of 1999, which is a very deep, almost black purple, but like not quite there yet. You can see a little bit of the purple on there. I just don't want to grab black because then it's just going to take away from the purple. I'm going to go back and trace out that cut crease. That second shade that we laid out, so I'm just going to like tap it right over. There's that depth that I was looking for. Hey, I'm going to go back to the shade Baddest, and I'm not going to tap off the excess. I'm just kind of going to place it and use it to blend in the two shades in together. Okay, there we go. That is exactly what I was looking for. I went ahead and cut my crease off camera because I haven't done it in such a long time that honestly, I was a little nervous. I was like, girl, am I gonna get this right? Pero si me salió chingón, even though I haven't done it in a while. Now, I'm gonna go in with this shade. It's called MC and it's like a nice lilac shade and I think it would look so perfect on my lid. Let's go. Tap that in there. Oh, wow, she's pretty. Dude, no manches. I love purple shades, but especially lilac shades. I don't know. They just do it for me. And this one has a little bit of glitter, like not too much. It's not a glitter shade. It's mostly matte, but it does have a little shine to it. Like a little, like if the light hits it at the right angle, you'll see a little sparkle. Dude, that shade, oh, that one was perfect. The only thing, dude, is that this palette does have a lot of fallout, and I know you can see it, and I never really experienced that with the Beauty Creation shadows, but a good thing that I already set my face because it is not gonna stick to it, and just like swipe it off like this. But de todos modos, just warning you, it does have a lot of fallout. I'm going in with the shade Eggplant, and I'm gonna tap over where I placed Getty because it wasn't vibrant enough to how I wanted it. And I think this one, yeah, that one's real good. 
There it is. Ooh, you see the purple? I mean, everything's purple. I'm gonna drag it out to my temple. I kind of want the eyeshadow just to like, whoosh, like stick out. Okay, okay, period. Así me gusta. I'm gonna add a little bit of purple and probably a little bit of dark brown under right here because I kind of want to smoke it out a little bit. So I'm gonna stick to eggplant porque that was honestly a really good purple. And let's go in my under eye area. I'm just gonna keep it in the outer corner right here and I think I overdid it. Me pasé de chile, amigas. Go ahead and blend that out. Just like, there you go. And then I'm gonna take the shade Appointment, which is a deep brown. And use that to smoke it out. Just very carefully because I still want that purple to stand out. Pero I want it nice and smoky. Okay, okay, this is what she looking like. So I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back so we can finish off the eyes. Okay, I mean guys, let's finish off the eyes. So for that, I am gonna go in with the newest launch by Benefit. It is the Fan Fest Mascara. Now this one I have been using nonstop because I did receive it in the mail a few weeks ago when it launched and girl, this thing is so good. I love this mascara. I feel like it definitely does a really good job of lengthening your lashes. It gives you that volume and it does not clump up, which is one of the things that I look for the most when it comes to a mascara. So let me go ahead and add this to the top and bottom lashes before I put on my falsies. Now she's ready for falsies. And for that, I do have some lashes. I actually have two. They come in this little set. It is from the Louis collaboration with Beauty Creations. And as you can see, we have two different styles. Actually, they're kind of similar. As you can see, the top ones are more full, lengthy, voluminous. And these are a little bit more wispy. And I think those are the ones that I'm going to go to. These are called the ones that are on top, Hide Your Hombres. And then the bottom one is called Perras Night Out. So I think I'm going to go in with Perras Night Out. Oh, I do have to trim them because they are very long and i'm gonna go in with a little bit of lash glue from exo cosmetics use discount code alma rivera check out yeah girl i had to put that in let's go ahead and pop these on they're gonna be like short in the front and more voluminous towards the tail and that's exactly what i look for in some pair of lashes when doing a cut crease because we do not want to cover up the gorgeous cut crease that we did do oh Gee, they're so cute i love 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 them they go with the look the last product that we're going to use from the beauty creations bundle with louis castro are the lippy sets we do have two so i'm going to open them up and i'm going to see which one's going to match better this is the fuego trio y luego tenemos latina this is the second trio and i'm looking at both of them and they both look good and i think i'm going to do a little mix match I think I'm going to use the Fuego lip liner and then the lipstick from Latina. This lip pencil is called Caliente. Oh, that is buttery. Yeah. Oh, 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 I like that. And it broke. But good thing they're resharpenable. I believe this is a liquid lipstick. It is called Beso. Oh no, it's a liquid lipstick. I just really like this shade. <gasps> Ooh, she's cute. That's a nice combo right there. I like the other lip pencil. Was just a little too dark for this lipstick, which, I mean, girl, when do you ever hear me complaining about a dark lip pencil? But it's just for this look specifically, I wanted a more like toned down nude. I didn't want something too, too crazy on the lips. You know what? I'm digging it like this. I don't think I'm gonna add any gloss because it looks cute. Last but not least, let's set everything into place with some new setting sprays from Milani. So they sent over four sprays. They're called Make It Last and there's different ones. So there's one with sunscreen. There's one that is original. There's one with matte and a dewy one. And for this look, since we are working with a matte complexion, I mean, everything's matte. I'm gonna go on with the matte one. So let's take off this packaging. And there's gonna be a new spray, so it's gonna take a few clicks.
and zam girl here we are with the final look what you think girl let me know i want to hear it because honestly i freaking love it i'm so glad that i did something bold and vibrant on the eyes because it is giving. It definitely inspired me to bring back more colors to my makeup looks. Because honestly, dude, honestly, me pasé de chile. And I didn't think I still had it, but I still do. But anyway, let me talk about some of my favorite products that I use today. Let's begin with, you know what? I had a lot of favorites, to be honest. So first of all, I, I don't know. I can't tell you nothing about like the blemish one from Fenty Skin because I haven't played with it long enough. But from what I see, I don't see any blemishes peeking through. So I think it's going to take a couple days for me to see like how the product actually works. And I'll let you guys know a little update on my Instagram stories. I definitely enjoy the primer. That's for sure. Oh, the concealer. Okay, that one for sure. I really, really, really like that. I want to play with it more. So I want to get a feel for the formula. It's very lightweight, like I said, but it's definitely full coverage. Which, I mean, girl, you already know that I'm here for the full coverage. The Fenty Cream products, though, ni se digan. This bronzer, this bronzer right here, oof, love it. The cream blushes, also love them. They're buildable, pigmented. Everything just went smoothly, to be honest. Even the whole, like, Beauty Creations PR bundle with Louis Castro. I mean, look at the eyes. They look so nice. The lashes are popping, and this lip combo, dude, oof. It's definitely going to be a daily staple. The one product that really had me shook, though, were the Lunar Beauty setting powders. They're so pretty, dude. Like I said, the powder is very finely milled, so it just didn't, like, cake you up. My complexion looks freaking flawless. And that's that I used three types of setting powders. Like, it just looks really good. It just really sits well on my complexion. I mean, I definitely have a lot of texture on my skin. So when it comes to powders, I'm looking for something that's going to give me, like, a blurry effect. And that, it definitely did. My whole complexion looks flawless. Like, if you would see me in person, dude, you'll be like, damn, girl, what you put on your skin? My under eyes are brightened. They look rejuvenated. I don't know. Just all in all, that thing really impressed me. But I want to know your thoughts, amigas. Is there any of these products that stood out for you? Have you tried any of them? And if you did, let me know what you thought about them. But I mean, guys, we have come down to the end of this video. I know you are so sad to see me go as I am as sad to let you guys go. But you know what? I have no more time. I got to go big up my kids. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to follow me on all my social medias. You guys can find me at Alma Rivera Beauty on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Do not leave my channel before subscribing, girl. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.